Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be showing you all how I study for AP Physics 1 or just physics in general and I will also be giving you some tips on how to study for physics. So I have finally found a study routine that worked for me and thanks to that I have also gotten higher grades this semester. So I hope this video will help you all to those who are studying physics and do also consider subscribing to my channel to see more study related content like this. Now without further ado, let's begin. So the first part of my studying routine is listening to the lecture. From the start, I always make sure to listen to the lecture attentively. This is because this is the first layer of my learning. By listening attentively, I can start grasping bits of the lesson and after this lesson, I should have at least a general knowledge about the topic. But of course, I do not expect myself to have a very specific understanding or an in-depth understanding of the lesson. And also, I can get a head start in trying to answer the teacher's sample problems which can test how well I know the lesson plus it gives me ideas on what kind of questions there may be in the exam. Next is watching YouTube videos. Now, I will be watching relevant YouTube videos about the topic. I usually only use one channel since this YouTuber always explains the lessons clearly and the examples the YouTuber gave is also similar to that of my teacher. And this YouTuber is called Organic Chemistry. Now, I can not thank this YouTuber enough as he has been helping me in both physics and chemistry ever since that grade. Just after watching his one hour video, I was able to understand the topic that took my teacher like 3 to 5 days to explain. Now, I usually take notes of what he's saying through good notes, and I usually create a notebook and write the title of the topic of the video along with the header saying YouTube to indicate these notes are from the YouTube video. Now, each page there will be a name of the YouTube video so that I can reference back to which YouTube video the information came from. Now, this process usually takes the longest time as organic chemistry has like multiple videos for each topic ranging from 30 minutes to 2 hours. Now, to be honest, doing this takes about 8 to 10 hours in total which is why I usually start doing this early to make sure I do not cram for the exam. Next will be doing practice exercises. After watching YouTube videos, I would usually do some practice tests. Since AP Physics is like an international subject, I usually find questions that are made for the AP Physics exam. Usually, the practice exercises I use are from the AP Physics 1 Essentials, who make a summary for each topic and give lots and lots of practice exercises. I also use the MIT workbook for the AP Physics 1 because I find it to be more challenging and they both have multiple choice questions and free response questions that are also similar to the AP Physics exam. And do note that normally, AP teachers usually style their tests to be like a mini AP exam, which is why it is important for me to find practice exercises that are as hard as the AP exam. Now, after doing the exercises from the MIT workbook and AP Physics 1 Essentials, I would then do my last practice exercise, which would be my textbook. Now, my textbook is more in-depth than AP Physics 1 and this is because the textbook is tailored for both first and second year college students, while the AP Physics 1 is only tailored for around first semester of a first year physics college course. Now, I usually do textbook exercises only if I finish answering exercises from AP Physics 1 Essentials and MIT Workbook and finishing all these questions while still having time to answer textbook exercises is quite rare since 1. The teacher usually announces the test 1 or 2 days ahead so there is less time to prepare and I also have to commit my time for studying other subjects. Now that I have shown you my study routine for physics, now I will give you some tips on how to ace AP Physics or just physics in general. My first step is to think conceptually. Now, most people only think physics in the theoretical side, and that means they just memorize formulas and blindly answer practice problems without seeing the larger picture fit. Many fail to see how physics can be applied in real life. If you are able to see the bigger picture, like how is this formula applied in real life, 
then it will be easier for you to understand the formulas as well as important concepts and then solving the problems will be much easier. Not to mention that physics exams aren't always just about calculating for some variable. There's still a free response part and this is where teachers will test if you actually know how to apply the information in real life since the questions are normally application based. Like for example, in the topic for series and parallel circuits, what will be the advantages and disadvantages of having a parallel circuit for Christmas lights? Now, instead of having it as a series circuit, now this question requires applying all the things you learned about the series and parallel circuits and putting them in the context of making Christmas light circuit. Formulas now won't really help you Rather, application and understanding of the lesson will help you be able to think of an answer. Next is to master the basic concepts. In physics, there are foundations that you should master before moving to other topics, as you will be applying what you have learned from the basic concepts to the other topics. Example will be mastering one-dimensional kinematics, as of course you'll be needing this in other topics, like momentum, 2D kinematics, circular motion, and so on. Now, if you have a poor foundation of the basic concepts, then you will have a harder time understanding the next set of topics which will be even harder than the basic concepts. Next is practice, practice, practice. I cannot tell you how much practice can help in physics. Practice tests help you test yourself whether or not you actually learned or understand the lesson. And it can also help you think of questions that might be in the test and help you prepare for it. So if I were you, use the internet to your advantage and try to find practice tests that are similar to your teacher's exercises or just within the topic that you are studying in and this will also help you prepare for your test. My last tip is to take your homework seriously. Most people would rather get rid of homework the easiest way as possible. And that is either copying solutions from their classmates or copying solutions from the internet. Now, homework is essentially like a practice test and it can also test whether you learn something or not. And this can also help you practice for your upcoming exams. Normally, I take a long time doing my homework since homework is usually given after the lecture. So during that time, I am not that familiar with the lesson. I would do the homework by myself first and then compare my answers and solution with my classmates. And then I'll try to find out if whether I got it wrong or right. And if I got it wrong, I'll try to find out how I got it wrong and what should I do instead next time. Now, I'm not saying that getting help from your friends is like cheating because me and my friends learn from each other to which some teachers approve of. And the only time um, having friends is becoming cheating is when you just copy off their solutions without even understanding the solution itself. And that is basically all my tips on how you can study physics. And I hope you found this physics study routine and physics tips useful. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future study-related content. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!